What's going on guys? And as you can probably tell, it is a new day and we are at the track. I don't know if you could tell by the rumpus and ruckus of all the V8s and a couple imports. But uh, just got to the track, it is 1040 and uh, the ATM is broke. So I don't have a tech card yet because Timmy Thompson, uh, Cartoon Customs, yeah Cartoon Customs, he's another YouTuber, good friend of mine, we actually went to school together. Uh, we went to auto body and refinishing. Well, he's coming to save the day and bring me some money so that I can make an absolute complete fool of myself out here on the track. Uh, everything's unloaded. Just kind of waiting for Rick and Cole to get here and then all uh, good stuff. We got the 28105s on the back today, the slicks. Kind of excited to see how that goes. Uh, everything that I've read on the internet is just like five grand and just dump the clutch and uh, hold on. Now, that sounds all fun and, and dandy until my clutch decides it wants to implode, which hopefully doesn't happen because this car is getting dropped off tomorrow at Profab uh, to get the cage done, which is sitting in the back of the truck. However, I'm gonna do it anyways because the internet says, hey, you should probably do this, so why not? At least once. I think what I'll do is I'll probably like launch at 4,000, kind of feather the clutch out a little bit, see how that feels, see how happy the, uh, the clutch is, and then depending on how that happens, hopefully I can get a second one in because the weather is starting to come in a little bit and it's supposed to be here in like three or four hours. So hopefully I can get two hits off. And then if all goes well with that, then I'm gonna hold her at 4,500 or maybe even five grand, I'm gonna to try to balance it while watching the tree and everything else inside the car and try not to get it in my own head. And then I'm just going to, boom, let her rip and see what happens and hold on. If I burn up a clutch, hey, I'm gonna let out of it. I'm not gonna be stupid and just sit there and floor it with the clutch spinning its, its tail off. Uh, Cause I do wanna be able to drive this car off the trailer and on the trailer. Cause I don't have a come along or anything like that. But uh, wait for those guys to get here and uh, hopefully the next clip will be me getting uh, getting up to the staging lanes. So, uh, peace. Hey. Well, if it isn't my superhero What's coming in just in time so I can race, huh? Yes, sir. How you doing, buddy? I'm doing wonderful. Yeah? This is not my vlogging camera, this is like my camera camera. So, uh, what's the deal with this thing? Um, I'd ask that and he knows all the details. Cool. You just come to party? Pretty much. Come to party. Nothing no, wrong with he that. bought it. Uh, he bought a couple weeks ago, and it needed a little bit of work. So uh, that's what he's been doing the last couple weeks is like fixing all the little odds and ends. Yeah. This is actually the first run. This is a chassis car. Or? Yeah. Oh yeah. He said it's a 440. Yes, sir. Check it out. Check it out. Check it out. Oh, dude, there's nothing in this thing. It's a chassis car, son. It's Echo. This is the Echoes. It sounds weird. I bet this thing is loud. It's loud as shit. It's got a five inch collector right here on the, I don't know if you're seeing it with the trailer, but. Oh, well, I can tell you that, oh yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, I see it. You see it? it? Oh, it's just straight open headers, huh? Oh yeah. You guys don't like your hearing at all, I nope. assume? Shit. Makes sense. Makes a lot of sense. He's got the Mustang too, right? Yeah. Is that a stick car? Um, No, that's a glide car. Mm. No, I've got a, the Mustang got a C4 in it. C4, I'm sorry. Ah, okay. Well, that's pretty cool, man. This is just a two-speed glide. Yeah, yeah. I'm about to head up to the lanes right now. Cause there, I saw. A... Are they getting in line for testing too? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They've Is that been the line that's up there right now. Yeah, man. Oh, sweet. Yeah, so I'm about to start heading that way. Uh, I don't know. Get him off the trailer. Get it all set up. Yeah. If you want to meet me up in the staging lanes, I'll pass you on my camera and shit. Yeah. All right. Peace. Let's go get this thing ready to go.
stock suspension car. It's got about 20 pounds of PSI in the tires. So, and I'm just trying to figure out the car, you know what I mean? The 60 foot, it felt better. The overall pass felt better. It's just that, uh, I don't know. I, I gotta figure out how to launch this thing and also launch it consistently enough to where I can uh, freaking launch the, uh, hit the tree. Jesus, that was hard. Sorry guys, still a little uh, amped up from that. Because when I turned off, I thought I heard like a clunk sound and obviously like my heart just dropped. So I'm really hoping that it gets, uh, I, I think it ran a 12 something, I really do. I think like a 1290 or a 130. And I'll be really happy with that. Like, cause, cause my prediction is I think this car can do, run a 12, a 1270 is what I think, naturally aspirated. It's just I gotta figure this thing out. And that all comes with time, you know what I mean? Just driving the car and figuring everything. The clutch doesn't feel too bad. 107? Yep. Whoa! Oh Holy shit guys, check that out. I don't know if you can see it, but uh 12 12 9 at 111. I trapped one what did I trap? I trapped, uh... Oh, dang, I mean, what did I trap? I trapped 113 or so in the last video. 114, maybe? So, we ran a 1290. First rip out. So, I'm definitely happy about that. Alright, guys. So, uh, waiting in the stage lanes right now. Uh, looks like they're trying to gather everybody for the shootout. And, uh, I don't know. I think they only have like six people right now. It's a $50 buy-in. It's nothing crazy. Rick's already up there. So I think they're getting ready to draw right now. Uh, but I mean, dude, there's so many cars in the lanes right now. There's probably, I would say 80 street cars, at least 80. So we just, uh, we just pulled the car up and uh, I'm gonna say at least an hour before we start getting down the track and then uh, Got my boy, oh, here we go. Timmy. What up? What are you doing, brother? Uh, you guys should gonna run get the another shootout. run, huh? You guys should run the shootout. Uh, no, we're too okay. slow for that. Dude, there's gonna, there's some pretty slow cars there. Really? Yeah, yeah. If he had the Mustang, we'd be all about it. There's some pretty slow cars, and then there's also, uh, I mean, the track's not really all that great right now. No. Mm -hmm. So, I don't know. There's a shiz ton of cars out right now, though. If this was Dow, I'd, I'd say run it, but yeah. It's breaking up on the high end. Yeah, that's what you guys are saying, but you... They want us to run on the uh, on the thing. Oh, fuck, I ain't got nothing <laughs> How many pounds of pressure did you add for the fuel up top? Like two or three. Two or three. I think it's got nine in it right now. Are you guys doing any type of data logging? It's old. It's just it's old, old. old school, yeah. Old oh, okay. School. All right. All right, hey, I'll see you guys in a minute. All right, have fun. Hey, see you. hey where's the car? Cartoon Customs. Right, right in the back. Oh, right, right, right in the back. Right here. Go Promo. subscribe, run it. like, hey. and comment. That's hey. all you got to do. Yes, sir. This dude can lay down anything, dude. Looks like glass. Better than that, I promise. This is Rick Prospero's 90 RX-7, I believe. It's a uh, all steel, all glass street car. Like he could drive it to work if he wanted. He's done race week a couple times with it. This is a really awesome car and great people, honestly. Like these guys have brought me Thanks, in Kevin. and really helped me out here. And uh, just being able to talk to them, I've learned quite a bit. The 540 with twin 88s, it does pretty good. And uh, tomorrow we're going to be running in the Cletus McFarland uh, race. So good people, good people. Go check them out on Instagram, uh, the Green Mamba, and it's a father-son duo, and they do an awesome job. And they're just like I said, just great people all together.
straight up hooked and uh, didn't have enough power to push through it. So that's something I'm going to have to get figured out for sure. Uh, but like that's just going to come with practice, you know. Uh, I felt a big difference for sure uh, dropping that pound, those, the PSI in the tires. It definitely, on the line, it felt like it, it fit real hard. And then also on top of that, it, uh, it definitely started to walk a little bit up top, which it didn't do that the first run because it was just, there was so much air in the tires. Uh, I'm gonna try to get one more, and I, I don't know if it's gonna work out or not just because of time uh, and the weather, but definitely we'll get into the staging lanes just in case. Uh, I have no idea what that ran, but we shall see. I'm not really worried about treeing anybody. I, I gotta figure out how to drive the car first before I can just tree anybody, you know what I mean? That's all gonna come with repetition, getting comfortable, muscle memory with the car. Um, so, what are you gonna do? Let's see what I uh, got. 107? 107? Yeah, it was way slow. Way slow. It's like a almost half a second. <laughs> almost half a second, half a second more to the 60 foot, which obviously translates to the back. So it went a 13.7, but I picked up two mile an hour, which I kind of figured I would because I short shifted um, the first go round, and then I also. Um, you know, kind of missed the shift this time around. So that took some ET and I probably could have gained another mile per hour. So I could see this car running a 1270 at 114. I could see that happening. Maybe even a 1250, but who knows? What are you gonna do? I'm not too upset, you know what I mean? Like, 